Hello, I'm Dave O'Connell with a word about the stories that are in this week's Connacht Tribune. Well, everyone loves Christmas unless you're a turkey, and yet we've found one turkey who is actually looking forward to Christmas. Trixie the turkey, who is set to survive a second 25th of December in the lap of luxury at St Mary's Nursing Home in Galway City. Readers may remember that we featured Trixie last year when she was saved from the carving knife because she was underweight and she was on antibiotics and turkeys cannot be eaten if they're on medication, so I guess that's a tip for the rest of them. But this time it looked grim because she's in perfect condition for the oven until residents at the nursing home had a vote and gave her another reprieve so she can enjoy her Christmas dinner without being the dinner herself. The more serious side of Christmas is the number of accidents and indeed fatalities on our roads, which is why the Gardaí are warning of increased checkpoints this week, coupled with advice to slow down, stay off the mobile phone and never drink and drive. That would make it a happy Christmas for everyone. Galway lost one of its great characters this week with the death of Sonny Malloy, known to so many through the generations for his drapery shop on High Street in the city. His was a destination for city and county shoppers alike. He was also a fantastic singer and a wonderful entertainer, truly a part of old Galway, now gone to his reward. Sport this week focuses on the county hurling final, which turned out to be well worth the wait for Gort. They grabbed two late goals to see off the All-Ireland Club champions Port Tumna on a dramatic day in Athen Rye and that features across five pages in sport. And our lead story is addressing what we call a grave situation, or rather a lack of graves because Galway County Council was told this week that one third of the cemeteries in the county are almost full to capacity. So all of that and loads more in this week's paper, which is in the shops this Thursday morning and every Thursday morning, or you can download our new Connacht Tribune app, which is available at the App Store or from Google Play.